Honey Bees, it's your girl Honey, and today I'm gonna be eating spicy galbijim, also known as braised short ribs. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. I am so excited for today's mukbang because I've been craving spicy food all week. So let's try this. First bite, honey bite. Cheers! Mmm. Mmm. Of course, I got the spiciest level. Wow. It is so good. Mmm. There's potato in here. Rice cakes. Mm. I just got my ombre eyebrow tattoos. Can you guys tell? It looks so good. I got it done from one of my honeybees who is now a good friend of mine, Tambi Eats. Make sure you guys check out her ASMR channel. She made an ASMR channel last year. And now she's doing brows and look at how good my brows look and this is just the first session And so I just have to wait a little bit until it peels off and I have to go back for a touch-up appointment Thank you so much Dambi. Love my brows. Make sure you guys check her out Mmm mm. I'm gonna save so much time not having to do my brows now. Mmm. Tastes so good. If you guys haven't tried garbage gym, you guys are missing out. Look at this, fell off the bone. Mm. They also give you a jalapeno onion soy sauce dip, which you don't really need. But if you guys want extra kick or flavor, you guys can dunk it in here like this. Get a jalapeno. Can you guys believe I met Tambi, one of my honeybees, at a karaoke while I was out with my friends. Now we're good friends. She started an ASMR channel. Now I get my eyebrows done from her. Love you, Tambi. I never got my brows threaded. I never let anyone touch my brows. So this is my first time getting it tatted. And the process, if you ask me, it does not really hurt, which I was really surprised. It does sting a little bit after you get it done, but the pain is tolerable. So if you guys don't want to waste time doing your brows, you guys can look into it, check Tambi out. Sonia Inks. Mmm. So good. So there are some meats that fell off the bone or just meats on the side that they put in for you. Mmm.
Look at this. With the potato. Big bike incoming. I love Korean food. If you guys have tried Korean food, what is your favorite Korean food? So you know I've been thinking, you know how a lot of us who live in apartments or communities, we aren't able to use amenities? We can't use the gym, we can't use the pool, we can't use the computer room. I feel like they really need to lower our rent because we don't have access to these amenities that we paid for. Especially in this community that I live in right now which I moved in a year ago. I think a year or two ago, I forget. But I chose to live here because I fell in love with the amenities, especially the pools. But now we can't even use it. Because of the pandemic. Can we make a petition or something to lower our rent? Because of these reasons? You know, I know some places, they deferred the rent for a few months for some people, but I think they should lower the rent. At least until the pandemic is over, and at least until we can get access to our amenities. Mm. You know, this looks like a lot, but a lot of it is bones. But you know what you can do with the sauce? You can make rice. You can make kalbijim fried rice with cheese. That would be good. If you guys want me to do that for a next mukbang, please comment down below and I will do a kalbijim rice cheese. Or cheesy kalbijim fried rice. Sounds good. This one fell off the bone. Look at this. Yum. address something about culture and food today so I don't know if you guys know but there's news going around that some Chinese people from China are claiming that kimchi originated in China hmm I want to be clear here it is okay to mix different cultures and foods, but to claim that a different country's food or culture originated from somewhere else when it actually didn't is wrong. And I want to address that kimchi originated from Korea. 
not Japan, not China, not anywhere else in the world or Asia, from Korea. See, this is a type of kimchi called scallion kimchi. Originated from Korea. It is okay to be creative with food. I mix a cuisine with cheese or a different cuisine and make it fusion. But we should really respect the culture and cuisine and let the world know where the food actually came from. And so there are some other claims that Hanbok, a traditional Korean dress and traditional Korean clothes called Hanbok, also originated from China. Hanbok originated from Korea. I'm gonna get some more rice. It's purple rice. I love that different people are trying different cuisines and Korean food is being known all over the world. I am thankful to have this platform to share my love for Korean food and also different cultural foods that you guys introduced me to. But I also love respecting everyone's cuisines because it has a lot of history to it. So cheers to all the different cultures and cuisines. Rice cake. Yum. The best part is the meat on the bone. comment the other day and I couldn't agree more so one of my honeybees said love you honey you are my only friend I have no friends but you are a fun joy spirit who always makes me happy love you honey same same girl I have no friends you guys are my friends I eat with you guys I talk to you guys the most I love you guys for watching me and supporting me you guys are my friends and I am your friend. So thank you. Thank you for joining me on my mukbang eating show. Thank you for listening to my stories. I love you. I love you friend, honeybee. Mm. 
No me... Get this. Meat. You know, a lot of you guys say I talk too much on this channel. I talk too much, just eat. But when I'm with my friends, I'm not the talker. I like to listen. So I really feel like we have a really good friendship over here because, you know, it, it feels weird talking about my life. And it's been almost five years, guys. It's been almost five years since I've been doing this. Vampire! Wow. I cannot believe I've been talking about myself and my life stories for five years with you guys. What did I talk about? If you guys have stuck with me for that long, thank you. Thank you so much for not being bored of me, not getting sick of me, and not leaving me, friends. So thankful for you. Cheers! You know what? It is so hot and I am sweating over here and I'm not supposed to be sweating because my eyebrows are going to wear off. So I just tied my hair, turned on the AC, and I'm going to eat rest of my short ribs. I did take some out for my brother B so he can eat some for tomorrow. Mmm. <laughs> This would be so good with rice. Comment down below if you guys want to see a short rib fried cheesy fried rice. Mmm. I love my brows. It's not going to stay this dark. It is going to peel off and become more natural color so it blends in with my hair. Mm -hmm. So you know he's mad over there. He's stressing out. So you know why are you mad? You know, in these braised stews, the potatoes and carrots taste bomb diggity. Super soft. And it absorbed all the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Veggies. Mm. 
rice cake and beef. I'm gonna pour some green tea in here. I love that sound of the ice jiggling inside when the liquid goes in. Mmm. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. You know, I was really sad the other day ordering my dog's food online. You know why? For the first time in my life and in their lives, I had to buy senior dog food. And sometimes when I see my dog's faces, they look older, so I'm just like, No! Grow old with me, with the same pace. Don't grow older faster than me. They're older than me in human years now. They are turning 70. It makes me sad to think that They're growing older so fast. Why? Why? This is probably how parents feel when us as kids grow up so fast. Time has been flying by for me. What about you guys? Last potato. I hope you guys all stay safe and if you guys have a Korean restaurant around you, make sure you guys try braised short rib. They have spicy version and non-spicy version. This is going to be my last bite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honeybee. And like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.